Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing some of the new LOL Surprise Mix and Make Birthday Cake Mini Doll Capsules. These look intriguing because the birthday cake you make becomes the dress that they wear. And from the looks of the packaging, it has some returning favorites from previous series that are now part of this birthday cake dress series. So it's a cute idea. Let us see who we find. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. We're a collector hobby and review channel. And of course, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. On the capsule, it shows you that you add the mix, some water, ooh, some sprinkles, and then there you go. So that's, that's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see the checklist. Very cute packaging. Okay, so ooh, we have something there. Checklist. Let's go with the checklist. Okay. Oh, how lovely. Oh, I hope ours turns out that nice. <laughs> yes. Okay, I love that character. So here we go. Heartbreaker. Oh my goodness, she's a rare. So we have Heartbreaker looking stunning as the queen she is. We have Bon Bon with, with the num noms. Okay, okay, okay. Neon Cutie, Royal Heine, Super BB, Daring Diva, oh, I remember her too, Miss Partey, Ice Skater, and Sis Swing. Oh my goodness, there's so many returning cuties, but with like a new look and design, I, I love it. So then we have the directions. Okay, that, that's needed. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to reveal anything, so we're just going to dump our items out and go for our three ingredient bags. There's a lot of different steps with some time involved, but they do have a QR code to scan for a video. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna use the containers that they come in and we need this piece here to form the handle for our mixing bowl. And that just snaps in together. And then this is going to be our sprinkle bowl. You remove this cover. And we have a little surprise in there. Actually, we have a couple couple surprises we remove. And then this piece goes in your mixing bowl. We should have a little spatula in here. Oh yes, there we go. Then we open our three sprinkle packets, put them along this ribbing here, fill it with water, push and hold, and wait two minutes. So you can kind of design the, the colors as, as you choose. So I think we'll start with, with blue, and then you have the spatula to kind of push things down. And the first colors you make would form the top of the dress, and then you can, you know, make, make the gradation however you choose. That's pretty fun. Okay. I'm just gonna go around the, the ring there. Then I think I want to choose pink. So at this point we can also kind of give it a tap or just go in with your spatula to smooth it out. And then I'll make the bottom layer white. And then you do want to fill it all the way to the top with water. That's totally filled and it does say, especially if it starts to float, you can push or hold and wait to two minutes. After two minutes, you can remove this piece. It's gonna be a little, little soggy. You can kind of shake off some of the water. Oh, cute. Oh gosh, it's uneven. <laughs> but it looks really cute. Let's wipe some of the excess water off a little bit. And then they provide like this little coaster that you then 
flip it over on and wait five minutes for things to perhaps dry out and solidify. Okay, here we, here we go. Oh, that's really pretty though. Okay, so we'll wait five minutes and in the meantime, we will figure out what doll we have. And we could also open our little sprinkle packet too and just have it kind of kind of sitting here to wait. Oh, it looks like we have cute little bow sprinkles. Oh, cute, the little confetti is themed. So we have some really pretty pink bows. We'll leave that in there. So all our other little blind bags. We have, oh, this cute little outfit. It has confetti sprinkles on it. Okay, I do love the confetti design and just the whole cake theme is pretty whimsical. We have some really cute hot pink shoes. Oh, I got confetti on me. <laughs> and we have this little tiny piece, which looks to be a little bracelet. And this one. Oh, we have someone with a tiara. Oh, so cute. Let's get our doll. Again, love the packaging as well. And, oh, come on out. Oh, cute, look at the little hair. Oh my goodness. I love the color. It has a metallic sheen to it. Love the pink and blue. So they do match really well with the colors you get. So cute. On the checklist, our little cutie is Miss Parte and the little heart, oh my goodness, our luck holds out with a <laughs> surprise. So we found the ultra rare of the set. Okay, that's, that's pretty lucky. <laughs> She's so cute too. So let us check her off and the five minutes are just about up to try to get our dress out of the mold. To show that you can pry it out with a spatula and then dunk once in water and then smooth it down. Okay, so let's pry this off. Definitely feels a little squishy, but it has hardened. Interesting. It's a very interesting texture. <laughs> Okay, so then tip it in the water one more time to smooth it out. Let's remove our carpet up here. I guess take off some of the, the grainy edges if need be. And then you insert your doll inside. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, that does come together rather nicely. And then at this point, you start adding the confetti, however you want. There is a lot of tacky texture to it, but you do want to do that before it dries. And then after you confetti, you have your confetti in place, you let it dry for 15 minutes to harden. So you could do it by hand, but if you have tweezers, that actually could work if you want like a uniform pattern, which I think I might do because the bows are just super cute and I kind of want like all the bows going the same direction. So that'll be fun. That gives you a really fun little interactive element to design your dress. Oop, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> and after 15 minutes, this part does harden so you can stick your glitter to it. I pressed mine in just a little bit so that way they wouldn't fall out. But here is her final look. And I like how you can just customize it to however you see fit. Apparently I liked just bows in a row, <laughs> but I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's gonna be easier to do this the, the second time too. I realize my, my layers are uneven, but that's okay. I mean, every look is gonna be different and it's what you create, which is a really cool concept. And then on to capsule two. I really do love all the dolls in the series. I'm glad they brought back some, some oldies but goodies. <laughs> okay, so it looks like, the, oh, 
yes, we have something different, <laughs> which is awesome. We have pink, yellow, and white. A little powder this time. Here's our doll instructions. Let's grab our little handle for the mixing. So let's get this part out. Again, we have the blind bags inside. Here is our dress. Oh, and I like how it does have a different like sculpted pattern to it. It's awesome. You put it in upside down. And then you can put the dress in position. So this is actually gonna be the front of the dress on, on this side. And then I'm gonna try to get the layers to be a little bit more even. And I think I want the top part of the dress to be pink. And you can kind of give it a look and give it a shake. My table is slanted, so I want to make sure it evens out. And just going in there with the spatula actually works really well for that. I'm going to go for white as my second layer. And then the fluorescent yellow will be the bottom of my dress. And then smooth that down. Any excess goes in the middle and goes out the bottom, so you don't have to worry about that. And we fill everything up with water. There we go. And again, you can press or hold it down just to make sure it's submerged for two minutes minutes have passed so we remove this from the water but not from the mold yet let's give it a little bit of a shake those are pretty that almost the pink almost looks orange and then you put it face down there on the coaster let me see where the front of the dress is again <laughs> there we go and we let that sit for five minutes let's get out our doll Judging by the colors, I thought we knew who we had, but I don't think it is. Oh yeah, we have little pink shoes. Oh, like pink almost ballet slippers. And then we have some cool cat eye glasses. Our top, oh, that's a pretty green with bows. And then, oh, this is our spatula, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I had the other spatula, so yeah, you were supposed to smooth it down with it, but we already had one. And then here is our doll, which is Royal Tiny. Oh, she's really cute. I like the fancy hair, the little earrings. Oh, I like how she has gloves too, and of course her little beauty mark. She's adorable. I'm not sure if I ever had her in... An original doll but she's she's very cute on the checklist royal heine is a popular and i realize her glitter has crown designs but then we also have the bows which she likes so you know what you can totally combine and mix and match some of the confetti which i think i might do just because she has a bow theme too and we have some leftover bow glitter <laughs> so we'll add her glitter to the container it makes it easy to to add and then oh yeah they're really cute very pearlescent white they do give you a ton of glitter so there's a lot of extra so maybe the more you collect you can save some and then start really getting fancy with those dresses in the glitter or add your own glitter too that would be that would be cool time to peel off the plastic mold Okay, so it looks a lot less orange <laughs> once you remove the, the yellow mold. Okay, that's good. That's pretty. That's very pretty. And then you want to dip it in water, remove some of the tackiness. Very nice. And you can kind of smooth out any, any rough spots. 
For her royal hiney, I think I'll place just a couple bows in key spots on the folds of her dress. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see the mold and sculpt of the dress. So I think the bows naturally will, will look good in these parts. They do kind of blend in, which is maybe why they give you white glitter for her actual <laughs> costume. So I'm going to be a little bit more generous with the placement of the crowns. I don't think they need to to go in any order this time. She's gonna have a lot of them though. <laughs> Here's the finished dress. I do like the way it turned out. I think the little bows are a nice accent and I realize now if you have a white layer of color, it's probably best to put it on the bottom just because the colors bleed in the middle like that. So you can't really see the white, but that is okay. And then let us put our doll inside. They should be able to go in with their shoes on, yes. And there we go. I think her dress really complements her, her look and style while still being able to, to customize it. Very cute. So feel free to let me know what you think of these new mix and make birthday cake dolls or from the nine on the checklist, which one would you be most interested in seeing? You can leave me a comment down below. As for me, these were a lot of fun to make, a little, you know, craft element. They weren't too messy or too sticky and they do harden up rather nicely. So they make for very cute displays and you can get super creative with how you design their dresses too. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.